Let me tell you a story. And this story is, re is in relationship to your use of the term transformative. Many people who go out for vision fasts are seeking a transformative experience. They are seeking the lightning bolt. They are seeking an epiphany. They are seeking for something that will transform them into somebody else. Uh, and because we are Westerners and most people who go on these vision fasts who are not themselves indigenous are um, usually white and well-educated, uh, put this in terms of some kind of an insight because that's what they're used to thinking about is insights because you go to college and that's what you get. You get insights. One time this, this man uh, went out, we were in the, we were in Death Valley and he went back into the Eureka Mountains and you get these washes that come down out of the Eureka Mountains into the desert and he walked back and he found a cave back there and he stayed there for, for the four days and four nights. And he was pretty miserable. I mean, it was hot during the day and it was cold during the night and it was a bad mosquito season that year and he got bit up. And he came down out of the hills at the end of the four days and he was distraught. He cried because he had not had an epiphany. He had not had a transformative experience. Um, he had not seen what I have come to call the pink neon buffalo coming over the horizon and giving him this, this epiphany. And yet when I spoke to him about what he had seen during those four days, he told me he saw ravens circling in the sky. He saw a lizard doing those lizard push-ups under a creosote bush. He had gone back in the cave and there was bat guano on, on the floor of the cave because once bats had all lived there and had gone away. And he had all these wonderful experiences. And he hadn't realized that the spirits were talking to him the whole time, but they were speaking to him in whispers. And he hadn't listened because he was expecting the thundering herd of pink neon buffalo coming over the horizon. And I think we need to show respect to the sacred plants by realizing that they don't work the way we want them to work. We want them to give us an epiphany. We want them to transform us. We want insights. And we want things to happen in our time. But the plants work in plant time. They don't work in our time. And it may be that they will speak to you in whispers. It may be that nothing happens. But in six months, you realize that you are now different in subtle ways that you never anticipated. That something has happened slowly the way a plant unfolds slowly.